Now we're going to discuss Maxwell distribution uh, of a velocity component in an ideal gas. Uh, so let's call this uh, G of dx d dx. This is by definition the mean number of molecules again per unit volume as we did in the velocity distribution which have an x component of velocity in a range so this range is bx to bx plus a small change in vx dvx and this is going to be irrespective of the values of other velocity components So this is the uh, distribution function uh, we are after. And basically we can obtain this uh, by looking at the uh, Maxwell velocity distribution. The distribution function for the x component of the velocity dvx will be the integral over all possible uh, y components and all possible z components of the Maxwell velocity distribution d cube v. Um, so remember what this Maxwell velocity distribution was. We have found it to be a constant times e to the minus beta and v square over uh, 2. That's the function. And if I perform this integral the distribution function dvx will be this constant c that's for the Maxwell velocity distribution integral over vy integral over vz e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m vx square plus vy square plus vz square dvx dvy dvz and basically because I'm fixing the velocity a component x here vx to be in a range vx to vx plus dvx the integration uh, on dvx is not valid so this is basically just a constant so I will take it out c times e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m vx squared part this is just a constant because vx is in the range vx to vx plus dvx it's not changing it's just a constant uh, so I have only this integral over vy and vz and vy and vz components can range from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m vy squared plus vz squared dvy dvz and this integral is going to give me another constant basically so if I perform this integral this is going to give me a number so a number so basically I'm going to say that uh, I already had a constant here and I will get a number from this integral so I'm going to define a new constant c prime which is the old constant c multiplied by this integral from minus infinity to plus infinity double integral e to the minus 1 over 2 
beta m dy square plus dz square dvy dvz. So therefore, I find that the Maxwell velocity component distribution function multiplied by dvx is this new constant, another constant c prime, e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m vx square dvx. So this is the new uh, distribution function uh, I will get by integrating over other uh, velocity components. Now uh, I want to evaluate this c prime, so that's very easy to do. So if I go through all possible vx values as well, so if you look at the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, Maxwell velocity component distribution function dvx, this will be c prime integral from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m vx square dvx and remember this uh, is by definition the mean number of molecules per unit volume which have an x component in a range so if i go through all possible uh, values of vx then i'm just going to get the mean number uh, the num number density total number of molecules and divided by volume v so again uh, as we have done it before in the velocity distribution i can have a transformation of variables i define u square is equal to 1 over 2 beta m vx squared uh, so that u is going to be square root beta m over 2 um, vx so this will give me a du square root 2 beta m over 2 dvx uh, so this integral will now turn into c prime as you can see as vx goes from minus infinity to plus infinity u will also go from minus infinity to plus infinity it's uh, linearly proportional to vx so it's c prime integrated over all possible u values square root uh, for dvx i'm going to substitute um, dvx is square root 2 divided by beta m du uh, so square root 2 divided by beta m e to the minus u squared du uh, and this integral is c prime square root 2 over beta m uh, multiplied by this integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus u square du once again we have done this integral uh, many times before the answer is square root pi so this will give me c prime times square root 2 pi divided by beta times m is equal to the number density n so therefore my new constant c prime will be n times square root beta m divided by 2 pi therefore i can conclude that my maxwell velocity component distribution function gvx dvx is the number per unit volume square root beta m divided by 2 pi remember beta is 1 over uh, kt by definition absolute temperature times Boltzmann constant exponential factor a Boltzmann factor e to the minus beta over 2 m vx square dvx so this is the distribution uh, function that I was trying to uh, find uh, now I want to discuss this a little bit more uh, 
so let's give it uh, a title here a further discussion of this uh, function uh, this is basically a simple Gaussian it's e to the minus uh, u square it's just a simple Gaussian uh, so if you look at the average value of uh, Vx. So what is the mean value of Vx? Uh, it's going to be zero. And this is as expected because you have a random distribution of uh, velocities, a random direction in an ideal gas at thermal equilibrium. So the um, mean value of the x component should be zero. And actually, how can I see this using this distribution function? Uh, the mean value of the velocity will be the velocity component uh, of mean value of the velocity component will be a probability of having that velocity component multiplied by the velocity integrated velocity component integrated over all possible values. What is the probability of having a certain value for uh, Vx probability? density vx dvx it is just equal to uh, 1 over n g vx dvx you can see that uh, instead of the integration over all possible values of vx in instead of giving me n here it's going to give me one so that's the probability density function 1 over n g of vx that's for velocity component so for this average value here I would have 1 over n integral from minus infinity to plus infinity g of vx vx dvx uh, probability multiplied by the value now in this integral g of vx uh, is proportional to e to the minus uh, alpha x square it's an even function some constant alpha times x square uh, it's a gaussian and the vx uh, is an odd function so you have the multiplication of an even function and odd function integrated over all of all of space that's just going to give you uh, for the mean value of vx uh, zero uh, you can see that if you plot uh, this function, as you can see here, uh, it's just a symmetric distribution around uh, Vx is equal to zero. So the mean value from symmetry, you can see that uh, should be uh, zero. So here I find that Vx bar has to be zero. On the other hand, uh, the maximum point, so the maximum uh, point in the distribution occurs also at this point when Vx is equal to zero. Uh, so you can see that here, this is my uh, maximum point. Uh, and therefore, if you look at the highest probability most likely value of vx vx tilde that will be also zero where you have the highest probability uh, in the distribution and when you have uh, beta m vx squared the 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 part in in the um, exponential uh, in the Gaussian term much greater than one or in other words when Vx is much greater than um, square root kt over m in absolute value you're going to have e to the minus 1 over 2 beta m Vx square uh, approaching zero so g of Vx goes to zero so you can see that here uh, in the limit where I have uh, Vx absolute value much greater than uh, square root kt over m 
this is going to be uh, zero in the distribution and that square root kt over m is shown here uh, for convenience you can see that as i go far away from this point uh, i will be uh, decreasing the probability substantially uh, furthermore as the temperature uh, goes to zero at very low temperatures uh, this condition vx uh, much greater than kt over m is going to become vx much greater than zero that means uh, the peak that we see at the zero point uh, becomes a lot sharper. Uh, so this is going to be satisfied, this condition will be satisfied even for uh, small values of uh, Vx, the condition is satisfied. So you're going to see that as the temperature decreases in this distribution, um, we're going to get a much sharper uh, decrease. So this is going to be a, a much sharper decrease. So this is uh, for... decreasing temperature so in this direction we're going to see that the peak gets a lot sharper as the absolute temperature uh, decreases so basically uh, this is this summarizes the behavior of the maxwell velocity component uh, distribution so just to recap here knowing that we have the maxwell velocity distribution what was maxwell velocity distribution it is uh, f of v uh, d cube v mean number of molecules per unit volume which have a velocity between v and v plus dv and it is found by uh, multiplying with the probability uh, distribution function uh, dividing it by the volume uh, and multiplying by the number of molecules and it's similar to the ideal spin system where you have n bars equal to capital NP we had a similar situation here and we have found this Maxwell velocity distribution in order to get Maxwell velocity component distribution we integrate over all other components because we're just interested in having a certain velocity component in a range so I have chosen X component so g of vx dvx is the mean number of molecules per unit volume which have an x component of velocity in the range vx to vx plus dvx this is obtained by uh, integrating the maxwell velocity distribution over other components over all possible values minus infinity to plus infinity which gave me n square root beta m over 2 pi e to the minus beta over 2 mvx square for the Maxwell velocity component distribution. If I plot this function, Maxwell velocity component distribution function, g of vx, I see a couple of things. One, the mean value is zero. Two, the most probable value is zero. Three, it gets a lot sharper as the temperature decreases when the velocity component is much greater than square root kt over m, it quickly dies off, uh, the, the exponential decay uh, takes us to zero here. So the probability of getting a large uh, Vx value uh, becomes exceedingly uh, small.